Does he have Kelsey? No, he doesn't. No, no. some space up to about the 25 five yards on the carry good pickup on first down and that's exactly what you want on a first down run pick up five yards bring up second and five the defensive line though they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack shift together here from the D line and they'll go with the ground attack here and he's good run I, I'm closing down Closing down that. When you find that kind of yardage, closing down that middle. As a ball carrier, and guess what? You're gonna go back and tell your offensive coordinator, "I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you." Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage. Look defensively. They'll run for it now. Here's Marcel Reese. Oh, how did he get in there? Thirty-one, and that's enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Third and one. Who are you gonna call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man. Hand him the ball and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. So it'll be first down here after the run. Now a first down throw for Newton. Oh, <gasps> how did I not pick that off, guys? How did I not pick that off? That's a user pick, and I never. Oh, not never. I rarely get them. Almost everything right. Excellent coverage. Breaks on the football. Just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception to keep for him. Now don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And they'll run it here. Yeah. Stopped immediately there. One it just runs the ball. That's all it does. There, so it's going to set up third and nine. Run this. Third down now following the run. Throwing on third down. Newton steps away to his left. Got it. Look at that. Dude, that's that defense again. Cover three, sky drop. Man, this is like Pick City. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And right here. His way forward here. Now I can just watch game. where he's five going to be. The tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Second and five. And there's a run to be happy with. Good solid yardage. He'll take that anytime you hand the ball to him back. Now Rogers. How's that, boys? How is that? Thanks everyone for being here tonight during the stream. It's good to have you all here. Hey Roblo, I picked up that Kelsey. I don't know if you even know about it, but watch see I can see where he is. Having that Kelsey. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that'll make it a second down. It's interesting because when I'm watching college football and I'm evaluating... He really is. He's, he's using... Now, my list of fullbacks, pure fullbacks, it's a very short list. I'm probably evaluating more punters and kickers now than I am fullbacks. But it doesn't matter what you call the position. Look at him go. Look at him go. That is awesome. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's yeah, I, I, he's break. expensive for sure. They go play action here on first down. I had it. I had it. He was wide open. Okay. That. I'll do this. Trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football. When you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front, it's even tougher. And this time, those guys on the opposite side. The, the Kelsey shows me where his his user is. Rogers will try again on second down. That is caught. 
Well, I wouldn't spend big on O line, but it gives you an advantage. So, my personal opinion is spend the money on something that gives you the advantage. Right? I don't want to spend 130k on a center. No doubt about that. But good play by him. Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon, second quarter about to get underway with the Packers in possession of the football, and they'll come up looking to keep this drive moving. Okay. Mm, most people do, yes, yes. On second down, here's Rodgers. Complete. Jordan Shoot. Reed was the intended target. Third down here. And you really can't pin that one on the quarterback, Charles. The O-line, they've got to protect them. And they know it. That's their meal ticket. They want to take care of the big guy behind them. In this case, they let him down. On right there. Now on third and goal. Ah, I screwed that up. It's intercepted. The big fella. He's at the 50. Bad peppers. Waited too long. Sorry. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Good little play. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Well, we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. Newton now to throw. Wow, nice play. Nice play by him. Excellent. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I think the good offensive coordinators in the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked him. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. On the counter, it's Henry. And he's brought down. Yeah. It'll go as a gain of 10 there. Yeah. And that'll give him a first down. But it's quite an here. It's like he got one on me. Strong, physical guy. When he came out of school, and when I looked at my draft board, I went back through my notes to see how I had him rated. The number two back on my board coming out of college. Why? As I yep. mentioned, there we go. That's good. Erlacher getting in there. No, oh, Vernon. Vernon and Erlacher on the same side of the field, so it's hard to tell. No, he truly possessed. We saw that in the off-season workouts. Now he's putting his running ability to good use in the NFL. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. There's Newton now on second down. This is caught. Gronkowski. It's a two yard gain there, and it sets him up now. Close. First and goal. See, this is what I don't understand. So I put the light blues on that side. But why is he. How does he move out? Yeah, hit your tight end. Let him get some rack. Yeah, when he, when he gets moving, right? how many guys want to come over and put a hit on him, do they? So a pause here for us as well. Time to pay some bills. More from Minneapolis after this. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. But there's another example of why they haven't scored any points so far. I think it's time to abandon the run game, spread things out, and go to the air. It certainly can't be any worse than what they've done so far. To throw on second down is Newton. This will be caught at about the Oh, second. nice touchdown by him. He gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Greg Olson from I eight yards I should, I should win this game for three, I know. B77 instead. Each and every time. A 
lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails? Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a that's touchdown. disappointing. Good, good touchdown, drive by him. Just winning on my end. Kick this one away. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board. Is for he sure. where he is? And to come away with He's there. That's a really tough one. He's this open right here. Yeah. Will they make up for it? And he's going to be out of bounds. What? There's no way. Oh, they did get it. They gave it to me. Fresh set of downs here. Hopkins, the one receiver right. From midfield, here's Rodgers. He's going to wind up and air it out. And it drops oh, thought he had it. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Back to the air on second down. It's Rodgers. He's going to take another shot here. This is caught. How do you like them apples, boys? And they do finally get him, but he makes it all the way to the six. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how insane was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged. Here we go. That was an awesome play. Thank you to Impaler. That one. Six-yard touchdown run. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Did I miss it? Oh. Good thing I have the 80. Seven clutch. Oh, that was close. So a tie ball game here as the kicks away. That's fielded in the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost. Well, that's the thing. So I know he's there at the D line. Doing what he's doing. Ready to take over again. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. He loves going to Gronk. And that'll be good enough That's good to know. There's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And he lost the <gasps> got it, caught it. Oh, yes. There we go, boys. That's the kind of turnover I'm looking for. That's that cover three. Um, cover three sky drop has just lighting people up. It's absolutely lighting. Take exactly what happened before. Wow. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. We set up very well for the rest of the drive. And he'll be brought All down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first. And we're running it right here, boys. See that? Before we get to halftime, they'll try to run for the first with Henry. I get it. Time and they're going to be left looking up at a fourth and Dude, one. I didn't mean to do that. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward half. I got it.
This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. On first down, Rodgers. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. Now All right, I'll just kick the field goal. Get it going. And with half time on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. They'll try the field goal now with Graham Gano. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And Gano's kick is right through. There we go. And they take the lead here now at 10. We're down by seven. So they kick it through to 10. Down by seven. And just score 10 points around here. And while they're concerned about not giving up a big yeah, return yeah, yeah. or no, but he's taking it out. going into the half. How good do they feel, though, putting points on the board themselves right near the end of the first half? And here now the offense heading back out there. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. And he'll give it here to his running back. Stays on his feet. Ooh. And a pretty long Why would you do that? There, you try to run out there. As he's brought down. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A final shot before the break. Newton. They set up the screen for Henry. Yeah. And they're able to get this one across the 35. <clears throat> so we he got caught on just that. A goal separating these two teams at the break. They get the ball back. 10 math, 10 7. We check in with Larry Ridley and our EA Sports halftime report. Larry? Getting ready to go as they take the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's wow. what you're thinking. Nice hit. I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes after saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. So okay. second and medium, second and five now. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get it out near the okay. 40 to the 39. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. And the D-line pinching together must be expecting the run. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And shredding this guy with this, these plays. And that leads to a Green Bay first. I think we need to come up with a different name for this position. We keep calling it the fullback position. Let's see where he is. That doesn't necessarily mean it's a fullback. I love it. But we know this. Whoever's coming out of that spot is usually bigger and stronger. And they Look at that, boys. This is just like, this is just a great little scheme here. And we were down on the field watching Henry like this warm up before the game. Power. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. Yeah. I and mean, you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit. He is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring Ooh, that was bad. Should have put him on... Partner, I'm sure you've heard the same thing I've heard along the way. At some point, because of his size... Patrick Peterson may have to shift to safety, but it feels to me like that's a long way away the way he's playing all these routes. How about the way he exploded on that dig route and knocked the ball away? Well, right now, 6'1", 220, that's looking good about anywhere. All right, that's not good. Had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in the second half. Instead, it's third down. And here comes play number six on this drive. Rodgers on third down. He's got a rifle one deep left side. There you go. Thank you, Impaler. 
Their dangerous wide receiver, 33 yards. And the Packers add on to their lead. And a touchdown there to help them expand the lead. All you're looking for is as much separation between you and the other team as possible. They've got to feel good about what that touchdown gives them. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot of the time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, to something to get you off to a quick start. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. On second and ten, Newton. Look, I knew he was going there. Knew he was going there. Tried to get there. Just couldn't get there quick enough. He's not going to run that again, is he? The blocking forms in front, lofted it to the runner, and now not only does he have open wow. space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Oof. Nice little play there. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just... Again, knew he was going there. Knew he was going there. Couldn't get... I, I actually put a guy on... I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go along. Oh my goodness, how did you miss the big hit? And he's brought down. 18 yards there and it'll be a first and goal. And now they're in the hurry up. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere. In the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter. Oh, boy. Because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing. Ooh, offense. he's causing he lots of problems here. Catch. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys you know to control their bodies when they run their routes. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. And he is into the end zone. Nothing you can do on that, right? Cam Newton. Really is nothing you can do about that. And his guys have made this a one-score game now. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. And after the touchdown, here's Mike Nugent now to kick this one away. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can if do that just was that. Open there. It's I didn't look. Five, and it'll be a second down. And 
time we return, welcoming you back to Minneapolis. It's been a very hotly oh, contested got a game, game going on here, point, boys. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. <laughs> they send Green to the left on his own. Now Rodgers throwing on second down. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't yeah, let's see. In that department. Third down. B. What was open there? So a second down incompletion now brings up third down. From the gun on third down, Rodgers. He's going to play. Whoa, whoa, look, that was amazing. That was awesome. Wow. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync, and he put it right on him on the inside route. The Here we go. He's going to do man. Gonna I'm going to torch him. Done. He didn't do Let's man there. What a catch. Didn't do man there. The finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Flush to his right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. This one of those plays where everything went right we except go. the finish. Got out of trouble, found a receiver downfield, but it fell incomplete. So the D-line's going to spread team. out. Rodgers again here on second and ten. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. And he'll go down at the 28. Give him three on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. They send Green to the left on his own. In motion left is Hopkins. Now a whistle and I think a penalty here for a delay. No, they're going to say timeout. They did get the timeout in time. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside. At third and seven. This should be. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Yep, there we go. Crossing round. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers. Here we go. The That's, this should be a win here. We got to can't fumble the ball. We go to practices. We see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust. And that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Okay, I can see where he's going to be. He's going to be on that side. I'm going to the other side. Tim carry now for Derrick Henry. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Here comes play number nine now as they come if he's in the middle. Back to throw, Rogers. Here we go. At the three. Four yards on the play, and that leads to the first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defensive side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. And the offense readies for play number 10 of this series. First and goal at the three-yard line now. Try to punch it in with Henry. And this one will wind up. <laughs> Where did it go? The, the four-yard line? The four-yard line. And there will be a break in the action here. They're going to take a timeout. That will be their second, so.
So one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. And this seemingly endless drive continues. Shipped together here from the D-line. They'll give Henry another shot. There we go. Game over. Stretch it out. With his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Packers add six to their lead. And his guys will take a 10 point lead. Super. Swada. Not doing much. Hey, McDummin. Glad you could be here for a couple wins. I like him, Matt Kelsey. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much. As he's Thanks so much, McThumb, for being by. Welcome by and being part of it. Ready to see what they can do here. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got Thank you, uh, Twitter. They well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is scoring It's right here. Quickly, right here. Take it and pick it. Oh, I knew he was going there. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Back to throw, Newton. He's going to let it fly. I'm going to pick this. Oh. He bats it away and thought it I was going to pick it. Incomplete. Totally thought and I was going to pick it. What every defense is wary of. The big strike attempted downfield, but they were in excellent position. They didn't get full. Yeah, do, I did, actually, is this not bad, this D, hey? Bat the ball down. And Charles, in this situation, this is where the word miracle comes into play. Have to score real fast. Maybe throw a jump ball in the end zone and hope for the best. Newton. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Third and 22. Well, they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time. Newton, fourth down. And that is incomplete. Wow. That's the defense right there. Why is he quitting? Over.